Combat 11 Aftermath. This this came out yesterday. I hadn't had a chance to see it all day because of uh, my beautiful pregnant wife. The thing I was talking about the most with MK Aftermath is that I'm more excited for the story mode than anything. Because I don't know if you're, after so many DLC characters and so much of the roster being the way it is, I don't know if you can get me super excited about the gameplay of the characters. I was sort of talking about how Robocop is going to be this guy that it's just gonna walk and shoot. They're gonna do some other stuff. I was talking about having like a jetpack or like a rocket launcher or some of the goofy stuff that he gets from Robocop 3 that potentially they're gonna hopefully go outside of the gamut and not just make him a long range zoner. But funny enough, Fujin looks really cool, right? Fujin just looks great. And he's been requested for a hell of a long time. The character that I'm possibly the most excited for gameplay wise because she comes from uh, the same type of character that was in Mortal Kombat X is Goro. Shiva, I hope, has some badass gameplay. Like, no joke, I think I might be more excited for Shiva's gameplay because I think Goro is one of the most fun characters in Mortal Kombat X. I hope Shiva has punch walk. Like, I really, I really hope that Shiva gets a punch walk of some kind because that's that's the, the heart of Goro's gameplay and it's fun and it's safe and all this kind of stuff. I want to be captivated by a character. If Shiva ends up being the character that I love in MK Aftermath, I'm, I'm down. Like, I'm super down. So I haven't seen anything. If it's Fujin, if it's Robocop, I don't care. Like, I'm willing to be taken aghast by a character on MK11. It's just that the only character that has stood out that it's a lot of fun has been Sindel, and I've said this many times, but is Sindel like even close to any character in Mortal Kombat X? I don't think so. I think I'd rather play almost any character in a game like MKX just because they're more fun. So uh, I'm gonna fire up this trailer and I hope that I get captivated, amazed, and um, beheaded by the gameplay of any of them. Damn, Fujin, holy shit. So you're Raiden's brother. We are partners in Earthrealm's defense. Are you also partners in incompetence? Shiva had all these other Goros with her. Okay, I did see a MKX Goro combo like already. Wow! Damn, the stages look fantastic. Damn, okay, you can get a red scarf, you can get a red scarf slash cape on Fujin. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. Look at Shiva and her pretty, uh, ow. Leia bun. The future of law enforcement. Dude, Peter sounds amazing, holy crap. Oh, okay, that's cool. I wanna see Robocop dash slash run. Oh my God, okay. He's got Robocop 3 stuff, that's cool. Robocop 2. Oh, god damn, okay. As someone that grew up with Robocop being the dopest shit, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I haven't seen one punch walk yet on, on Shiva. I'm, a, I'm disappointed. The hell? Good God, dude, Fujin looks disgusting. Terminator versus Robocop, I love it. I still have the comics. Ugh. Ah, they're supers okay. Interesting projectiles. Wow, he literally has like the Terminator Jetpack or jet boots. Oh my god, look at all the battle damage on his ass. That's awesome. Holy crap. Okay. Putin has got a crossbow? Oh my god, stage fatality. Oh, it's Shredder Sub-Zero! Poor Joker. Oh, Ed comes out! <laughs> Dude, the stage fatalities look great. Oh, 
Oh my god, what the hell? That's so messed up. Oh my god. Oh, wow. I mean, how do you not? They're gonna sell so much of this. It doesn't even matter if it's like overpriced. Uh, it doesn't even matter if it costs like $40 and it's horribly overpriced. How that sells everybody. That shit sells everybody on how ridiculous it looks. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give NRS some credit. Any of those characters might not come across as the super engaging gameplay things that we've experienced in maybe MKX. Um, and I'm not even saying that MK11 is a, a bad game. It's just that MKX set me up for a lot because I love all that you can do in it. But the way that they cut that trailer together, the way that they're presenting these characters, holy shit, dude. That trailer was incredible. Uh, we saw Robocop do a lot of stuff, which I'm kind of excited about, but I'm already super way more excited than I was before this. Like, that's that's a very good trailer. That's a very good trailer. So new fatalities. Funny enough, I, I, was, I think I was the most impressed with Fujin and Robocop. No joke, I, I didn't see a lot of stuff that Shiva was doing that looked very super fun. Like, it looked, it just kind of looked like sort of, I didn't even see... I, I didn't even see, like, Punch Walk. At least I don't think so. Yeah, there's something something about Shiva I was looking the most forward to because I love Goro and MKX, and she just didn't seem to have, like, the things I was looking for. She looked kind of... She looked okay, but Fujin was just all over the place and doing all this crazy, freaky shit, and Robocop was taking battle damage and uh, flying through the air and shield parrying and missile rocket launching and then doing a little bit of shooting, right? IGN mentions that Shiva's a grappler character. Okay, yeah, I, I could see, I could see that. I don't agree because Goro wasn't a grapple character. Goro was like, in many ways, a, a, a strike rushdown character. So they're trying to turn Shiva into the grappler type. All right, that could be fun. That could be fun. And that's why my impression is actually different. That's why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling right now, because what they showed was just not specifically Goro stuff, right? Goro was mostly about, I'm gonna get up your grill, and a lot of my buttons are super good up close. They're not good from afar, but they're really good up close, and my uh, my frames are amazing on these buttons, and I'm gonna try to stay in your ass as much as possible, you know? She was a grappler in MK9. Right, I mean, that's what I'm saying, is that I was hoping she was gonna be more Goro-like, and it doesn't seem to be the case. She's, she was kind of more grappler-like in MK9, even though I played very little of her in that game. Anyway, yeah, I'm super impressed with Fujin. I'm even more impressed by Robocop. In fact... Hold on a sec, I wanna... I wanna re revisit. I've never seen Robocop dash, right? I've not seen Robocop back dash or forward dash. Wow, that's move. The, the corner carry is fair. Right, that's fair corner carry. Wow, that shit looks awesome. Do all three of these characters come out on the same day? Or are they all... They're all on the same day? What the f***? I have to choose between playing one of these characters at the start? It's gonna be Robocop. It makes the same, like, tiger slash lion noise it made in the movie. Oh, he shoots you in the dick! Oh my god, I didn't even realize! I didn't even realize that he shoots you in the dick! That's a great reference. <laughs> I didn't even- I didn't even pick up on that, that he shoots you in the dick! I missed that. There was too much stuff flying at my eyes. I missed that. I completely missed the dick shot. All I saw was the explosion. I really hope one of these characters ends up being like my main in this game. That it gives me like a reason. Oh, I want to jump back into MK11. I want to jump back into MK11. I mean, outside of the story, because the story is going to be great. I just really hope that Fujin or Shiva or Robo can keep me coming back in some way. I want that to be the case. Yeah, I did see that Robocop did have Cyrax slash Sector skins. He's got a Robo Ninja variation, and it looks like a Robocop version if a Mortal Kombat Ninja was from like the 90s or something like that. Good job, NRS. Um, if this is a sign of things to come, then uh, consider me excited for whatever you're working on next. And uh, let's hope they get crazy gameplay-wise. <laughs> so these characters look pretty crazy gameplay-wise already.